Transferable skills to mining. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And in today's video, we're going to have a quick look at what the transferable skills you can use to get into a mining job. But first, I just want to say congratulations to Ian, who used the DIY package to get himself a job. We're going to have a little bit of a more of a look at Ian's story a bit later in the video as an illustration of how you can help yourself. But first, let's have a look at the job. So if you type underground into seek, you will see all the jobs come up and nipper, underground truck operator and offsider are all entry level. So I've picked out a Barminko entry level ad here. So if we scroll down and have a look at what they want. So key requirements is previous experience in labor intensive physical roles, farming, trades, labor, preferable. Now that's not a must. They like people that do physical roles because the nipper is a physical role. Uh, yeah, it, it, and they like people that have used farming machinery before because the farming machinery often uses articulation to move itself around and the majority of the underground equipment, um, all the heavy equipment is articulated, which um, is a transferable skill there. But, you know, when it comes down to this, what the all these skills are all well and good. But if you really want a skill that's going to transfer you in, there's nothing more, better than learning how the hard rock underground mine works. And that's what Ian did. And I'm just going to come back over to a post that he put out because he got in contact with us through our mining jobs that you don't need a trade or degree for. And he's currently seeking entry level position, preferred drillers off cider, but open to anything. Applied for approximately 30 to 40 positions so far with no, um, no avail. Any assistance would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. And we got in contact with him and recommend the DIY, that he do the DIY. And he got in contact with us last week and um, yeah he got finally got his start he's doing a traineeship with pry bar at um, their mine in new south wales or one of their mines in new south wales there and um, you can actually see it on the map if you go over to here this is our map that we use from australian mining atlas and there's the mine down there near canberra where he's got his start so that's what you can do all ian did was sign up for the intro to underground mining training it teaches you everything that you need to know about how the hard rock underground mine works and when you come at the employers knowing how their mine works you've actually got something to offer them and that's probably the best transferable skill that you can show them is understanding what a jumbo is and what a bogger is and all that sort of stuff if you can hold a 10 minute mining conversation with them then you genuinely have got something to offer them and that's the big thing at the moment with the employers what people need to understand is that unfortunately with these entry-level jobs with hard rock underground and off-siding they all have the same issue is that with the new starters if you go in green so you don't know anything on day one then you've got more than a 50 percent chance of failure and it's like that for pretty much all the employers um, it's just because people just don't know what they're getting themselves into and you know the employers take it's not everybody thinks that it's not going to happen to them but if you have a look at the ads the employers take people with all these backgrounds and it's these people in these backgrounds that are part of the 50 percent or more than 50 percent that fail and what i don't think a lot of people get their head around is that when you get to site not only do you need to have to learn how to drive the truck which everybody thinks is the complicated bit but it's not it's the easy bit what you actually have to learn how to do, you have to learn enough about the mine so they can leave you alone to get on with driving the truck by yourself. While you need a babysitter, while you need constant supervision, then you still haven't made it yet. You haven't secured your position there. You need to be able to be left alone to get on with the job and be productive by yourself before you're going to secure your position. And that's what people struggle with. And that's why the sponsor's training is so good, because it gives you all that information and it allows you study to study at your own pace. So you're not on the employer's time frame, which is what happens to a lot of people, because you get rushed through because they need people now. It's not like a surface traineeship, unfortunately, where they hold your hands for 12 months. The majority of the new starter jobs nowadays are all entry level and that's all trial by fire unfortunately so i hope that information helps and you know with transferable skills yes if you've got laboring background or you've 
driven trucks before and all that sort of stuff. That's all wonderful and great, and they'll like that. But you need to marry that up with some mining knowledge to really make sure that you're going to get the employer's attention and be able to get an interview and get that job. So I hope you, um, you found that information helpful. And if you've got any more questions or you'd like to know anything else about getting into the mining industry, please, um, yeah, send your questions through and I will make a video about it. But if you could like and subscribe the channel and share this video around, that would be wonderful. Thanks.